one box and one bag remain. So we need to figure out the total number of cookies in there and then divide them among the six students. So first we know one box has 36 cookies, one bag has 20 cookies, 36 plus 20, 56 total cookies. Now we need to divide these evenly into six groups for the six students. So we're going to use division and have six divided by 56. And when we look at that, six doesn't divide into 56 evenly, but we can still do this using a remainder. So we know that nine times six is 54, and that's very close to 56 and less than it. If we wanted to say that was six times 10, we'd get 60, and that's greater than 56, so that can't be the number. And if we did six times eight, that's 48, and there's another six before you even get to 56. If you answered eight remainder two, you may have just used an incorrect multiplication fact. 6 times 9 is 54, uh, 6 times 8 is actually 48, and wouldn't give a remainder of 2. So we know that 56 divided by 6 is 9, and like we know, 9 times 6 is 54, so 54 minus 56 is 2 left over. So there are 6 groups of 9 and 56 with 2 more, so that means that each student could get 9 cookies and there will be 2 remaining.